If you guys want coins for FC24, make sure you check out MMOEXP.com. Their link is down in the description. They're very fast, they're very cheap, they're very reliable. And if you use my code REMA, you can get yourself a lovely 5% discount. So what's up guys, it's Ash here and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video guys, I have some custom tactics and player instructions for the 442 formation to help you out in FC24. I hope you guys like these, I hope they help you out and uh, yeah, with all that aside guys, let's get right into today's video. Alright then guys, then starting off with the tactics for the defensive style, as always guys, we have this on balanced as it does give you the best control when you are defending. When you want to press, you can. When you want to drop back, you can also do that. It does give you the best control in my opinion. For the defensive width guys, we have this on 44. It's not a specific number you need to use. I would suggest anywhere from 40 to 50 as it keeps your defense nice, narrow and compact, but not too narrow to the point where your opponent just has free reign to run down the wings all the time. So just pick a number which feels right for you. For the depth guys you can pretty much use whatever you want. A lot of people like to use 71 depth which is fine where you get that automatic press but I prefer something like 60 where I have a bit more control over when I press. Uh, it just feels like my defense can be a bit more responsive as a result and not out of my control but you can pick a number which you want. If you want to go lower you can. For the build-up play, guys, we have this on balanced as it does give you the most controlled, varied way to build up. When you want to play slow, you can, and when you want to play a bit faster, you can. Uh, the other settings just don't seem to really work, I'll be honest with you. They don't seem to have much of a positive impact, so for whatever style you want to play, balanced is probably still the best bet. For the chance creation, guys, an absolute must, in my opinion, is direct passing, as it does actually allow you to create more chances in the game. When you use direct passing, your attackers make more versatile runs, they also push up against the opposition defenders, meaning it's easier to isolate a specific defender and take them on in that 1v1 play. So direct passing is crucial for the movement. For the width, guys, on the attack, I have it on 52. and Not really a specific number you need to use either, but I wouldn't suggest something crazy high, otherwise your players will be far too, like, they'll, they'll be way too far apart from each other. Uh, and on the flip side, you don't want it to be too narrow either, otherwise there's just no space to move. Now for the players in the box guys, we have this on 6, again this is a preference thing, I have it on 6 so we can get a few players into that penalty area without over committing. For the corners and the free kicks, again this is a preference thing but I just have them on 2. For the player instructions guys, both the strikers, we pop them on stay central and get them behind, this is to keep them in those middle areas as much as possible so that they can be relied upon to finish all those chances and then get them behind to ensure that we always get the best movement out of these players and that they actually do commit to making runs. So I do highly recommend these two instructions for the wide midfielders guys the right mid and the left mid we have them on cut inside getting behind and getting to the box across cut inside is a really good attacking ai movement that i like because it means they start their uh, their runs out wider and then they'll transition more into those narrow areas when they make those runs so it's more like a diagonal movement which i really like uh, you guys might not want to use that and that is fine we also have them on getting behind, which is very important on these midfielders because they are like right mids and left mids. If you have them on like balanced support, sometimes they won't commit to running down the line or giving you support on the wings and everything just feels a bit static. So getting behind is important. We also have them on getting to the box across because they are on that cut inside instruction. So when they do cut inside near the penalty area, we want them to commit into the penalty area to help us out. Basic defensive support is also used because they do enough anyway on this instruction uh, and I have pretty defensively capable players like Rolfo that will just defend automatically so you can pop them on comeback on defense if you like but it's not necessary for the left center mid guys the more defensive minded player we have them on stay back while attacking and cover center this is so that they won't go forward because they are defensive minded and then cover the middle area because we've got wingers to cover the wider areas uh, for the right center mid guys my more box to box player I leave them on the default settings and just pop them on cover center default settings so that they do have that freedom to attack and defend so they can pretty much do whatever they want and then cover center so that they will cover that middle area as well and now for the fullbacks guys on the more defensive one stay back and overlap so we always have at least three defenders back at a time and then on the more attacking minded fullback we have them on balanced overlap so we have that extra width that wider option which is especially useful when this like right midfielder is cutting inside and leaving space for this player to overlap so very useful instructions in my opinion for the two center backs i leave them alone and the goalkeeper i also leave them alone but yeah guys they're my tactics and instructions for the 442 if you have enjoyed or found it useful 
please be sure to drop it a like, sub to the channel if you are new, and don't forget to turn on notifications. And with all that aside, guys, hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Take care.